Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks tutorial video. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to build a small compact missile here in game. This missile will be able to obviously attach to any one of your creations. As always we'll go over the logic that you need along with that all the components that you'll need. We'll show you how to get it all wired up and finally we'll go and test it out here in game. Now if you're enjoying this videos, comment below and let me know you'd like to see any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and look at the little bell icon to be notified in my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into the tutorial and let's get started building the missile. Now before we get started, there obviously are a lot of other ways that you can do this. This might not be the most efficient way of doing it, however it's the way I've done it and the way how I build the missiles that I've used for a couple of my helicopters. I haven't been released on the workshop just yet, uh, but it's how I would design them. Once again, you can go have a look in the workshop. I'm sure there's a lot of other different ways you can do this. However, hopefully this will help a couple of people out. So we're at the workbench itself. Now, the first thing we're going to do, as we usually do for these tutorials, is we're going to just build down a little base. Okay, so we just have the little base down there. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to go and have some way of angling this missile if you want to. Otherwise, you can just go and build a little frame for it. So you can see here, I'm just going to literally just build a frame as if we have this missile underneath a helicopter or underneath a plane's wing over here. You can obviously get as crazy as you want to with the design. It's really up to you at the end of the day. Um, but let's just leave it like this for right now. The next thing that we want uh, is going to be a little bit of a way so we can attach the missile to the body of either a plane or a uh, boat or a helicopter, whatever it is. So we're going to be using a rail system for that. You can see here we have the Comprex Snyder gripper and we also have the connector track. We're going to be using the gripper to start off with. So you can see here, I'm just going to go and place it just over here. Now you can stack these as much as you want to and you'll see in the, a couple minutes how we can stack them. Uh, but we want to get that down. The next thing is we want some way to send our logic from the base, like a helicopter or a plane, wherever it is, over to the missile. Now to do that, you can either use an electric connector, a fluid connector, or you can use a, a small connector. It's up to you. All of them do have the uh, composite signals, which we are going to be needing for this tutorial. I'm just going to be using an electric connector, okay? Electric connector, we're just going to go and attach over there. So you can see there, we have the little rail, we have the electric connector, nothing fancy, nothing special, pretty basic as it is. So you can imagine this is underneath our aircraft right now. Let's go and just add a couple more pieces and imagine that this is going to be our wing, okay? So the next thing we need to do is we need to start building our missile. Now to build the missile, I'm going to start off by doing it just over here and I'm going to use the selection grid to move it over to here. Now the first thing we need is obviously going to be our little track. So let's go and grab the sliding connecting track. We'll place that down. Along with that, we will also need another electric connector. The electric connector is going to connect to this one and that's how it's going to get its signal across from the main body to this body of the missile. The next thing you want to add is um, a couple other things. The main thing you're going to need is going to be some way to convert the composite over to a on off signal. Now to do that, I'm just going to be actually creating a microprocessor. I'm going to create a two by one size microprocessor. I'm just going to call it test missile. Perfect. Go and go to the logic. We're going to need a composite read. Okay, so that's going to be a composite uh, output. Perfect. And then you'll also need is going to be an on off and that's going to be output. Actually, this is going to be input. My apologies. Okay, it's so composite input on off output. Great. Make sure it's not overlapping. And then let's go into the logic. Once you're in the logic, we just need to convert this composite signal into an on off. To do that, just scroll down. Let's go and find our composite write and read. Okay, read. There we go place that down, you can leave it as is, just get it all connected up, which means it's converting a composite signal into a composite and sending it out as an on off. That's it, pretty basic, pretty simple. I'm just gonna call it test missile video. Okay, let's get that on, close that off. We can then go and find it in here. I'm gonna write test missile video. Okay, there you go, you can see we have it there. I'm just going to go and place it down. Now, once we have these three main components, these are pretty essential for it. Uh, the track is not that essential, but uh, for this tutorial, it kind of is. Uh, the next thing we need is to obviously add our missile pieces. So to do that, let's go all down. Let's go and find our missiles. You can see we have the small rocket booster and we have the actual fuel. Now I'm going to use the fuel, one at the front and one at the back. And then we're going to go and grab 
the booster and have one at the front and one at the back. I find that this usually weighs it up quite nicely. You might want to add one more at the front or one more at the back, depending on how it does. Uh, if it angles too high up, you might want to add some more weight in the front. If it angles too low, you might want to add some more weight to the back. It, it depends. You have to play around a little bit. Now, once we have this built, this is pretty much all we need for the components for the actual uh, holding piece or the frame here. And this is the actual missile itself. Now you can get fancy, you can paint it. I'm just gonna use the selection tool to just grab it. So I've grabbed the whole piece you can, as you can see here and I'm going to click on cut. Once we've cut it, I'm just literally going to bring it up, bring it across, okay? Uh, just like this, bring it across, okay? Make sure it's in line, then bring this. Make sure that the electric connector is one block in front of where it should be and bring it up. Because if you go and you bring it across like this, you can see it has an error. It cannot spawn in like this. So I always spawn in one in front. That means what's happens is this going to snap together. It's going to push this onto our track, which is absolutely perfect. We can go ahead and place that down. Now you can, as I said, you can stack these. You can just build more and more and more and keep pasting and pasting and pasting. So you could have four missiles here if you really want to. But for this purpose of the tutorial, we're not going to. We're just going to keep it for one. The next thing is we want some way to actually go and engage this rocket. Now this can be a key switch, it could be a um, one of these lock switches if you want to, it could be a toggle button, it could be a push button, it's up to you. I'm just going to be using a simple toggle button for the purpose of this video. Along with that, because we're here in advanced mode, we need electric. So I'm just going to be using a simple small battery, so I'm just going to be placing that down. Now it comes down to actually getting the last component down, which is converting this on signal here into composite so that we can send it across the electrical connectors to do that i've just gone and copied this microprocessor that we already have and all i'm going to do is switch the composite and the on off to be in instead of out and out instead of in okay so pretty basic we're just going to go over to the design take this make it an output and make this and make it an input okay so we're getting our on signal in and we're sending a composite signal out go back into your logic you just need to switch these two around now go down go and find your right on and off, place it down. All you have to do is connect it up. You don't need to change any of the settings and then you can click on update. Once you have that down, the last thing is going to be setting up the logic. Now the logic is fairly straightforward. Uh, all you need to do is give some electric over to the button itself. Once you've done that, we need to also do the composite. So we're sending the composite from here over to the electric connector on our helicopter or plane or whatever it is on the base and then on the missile itself we're coming in through the electric and going over onto our over onto our microprocessor then we come to our data on here you can see our on off or our toggle button is going into our microprocessor it's then coming through the electric and it's going down into our composite reader. So you can see here, it's going to come into there and it's going to go out into our boosters to turn it on. With that, you want to make sure you're also disconnecting your actual electric connector. Otherwise, that is not going to slide and it's going to get stuck on this actual little magnet here. OK, once you have that, that's all the logic that you need. You don't need anything else. You can literally just go and spawn this in and it should work. Okay, so you can see here we have the missile. It's gone and connected with the electric automatically. It's also gone and placed itself on the actual uh, rail system. Now you can increase the size of the rail system if you want to. It's really up to you. I think that if you do increase the size of the rail system, it might become a little bit more stable. Once again, I haven't tested it. You'll have to play around with it. All we have to do is press the button and you'll see it now shoots off and there it's gone. Now this has gone quite high up, which means that we need to add a little bit more weight to the front. So what I'm going to do is just add one more of these little fuel capacitors at the front and see if that helps with the weight distribution okay we can play around with it you can add things a little bit more to it it's really up to you you can now see that is going nearly straight maybe if we add one more um, in the front that might help a little bit let's go and check it out we'll see uh, you can play around with this as I said as much as you want to this has gone and turned a little bit now so I'm just going to turn it this way and let's fire it off 
and that's gone kind of straight it has jumped a little bit down but you kind of get the gist of it and the main purpose of this is showing you how to send a signal from one entity into the other entity to get it to work without obviously having a whole bunch of controls and different radio pieces and all kinds of things it's pretty much just going into here getting convert to composite coming out getting convert to composite onto an on off signal once again you can get fancy create this as much as you want to you can also go and uh, copy this and paste it so you have now four missiles it's really up to you on how you want to play around with this and what you want to do with it so i think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and found some entertaining and informative as always and we'll see you in the next one